So hello friends welcome back to the channel. Today in this video I will discuss how to install ADB and fastboot drivers into your Windows PC. And this process is applicable for any Android device. Today I have Redmi Note 9 Pro so I will show you how to install the drivers of this device and I will show you by installing both ADB and fastboot drivers. So the first thing is go to settings and go to about phone go to MIUI version and tap until you see no need you are already a developer and go to additional settings and go to developer options and turn on the USB debugging now allow this window so this process is typically for Redmi devices in other devices like in Realme or Moto the process is quite different but you have to just turn on the USB debugging and for that you can tap on build number if you are using other devices tap on build number and go to developer option then turn on the usb debugging now go to home now the next step is into the pc so let's get to pc now connect the usb and click on file transfer and type cmd here and open now when you enter adb devices you get this error adb is not recognized as internal or external command to fix this you have to download three zips the first one is adb setup the second one is AOS usb driver windows and the third one is platform tools for windows now if you are using latest windows and you keep your laptop updated or desktop updated then the drivers may be installed in your device so first just download the platform tools then extract this and it will clear, create a folder like here the platform tools open it go to address bar and type cmd hit enter now type adv devices now here if you have a updated windows pc you will get a window when I, I hit enter you will get a window like this just allow that and you will see something like this list of devices and if you cannot see this just extract the adv setup let me just extract it so after extracting you will get an exe like this so just run it then click on yes click on yes now it will show you like this here type y and hit enter and it will install the drivers click next next and here i will not do that because it is already installed in my device so this is for adb mode now let's get to the fast boot mode i will just open the cmd or you can manually reboot to bootloader just like you do in other devices so i will repeat the process now after entering this command the device will reboot into bootloader so that i can show you the driver issue so you can see the device rebooted to fast boot now when you enter fast boot devices it shows something like this so to fix this what you have to do just close the cmd and here you can see usb driver just extract this and you will get a folder you need the android wins up the setup information file just right click on this and you can click on install or if you cannot see any option like this just click on show more options and click on install and after this you can just reboot your pc now let's see the drivers are installed or not so if you cannot see the drivers after doing this just go to device manager and here you can see it is showing android device just right click on it click on update driver then browse my computer then let me pick now after clicking android phone you will see three options now when your device is in fast boot select the bootloader interface and from here you can directly install or you can select have disk now when you click on have disk click on browse again now go to the directory so in the usb driver you can see we have the android windsup.inm click open click ok now select the android bootloader interface here click next click yes now open the cmd again in the platform tools and type fastboot devices and you will see that the fastboot drivers are installed now so this is how you can install the adb and fastboot drivers into your pc so if you found this video helpful, make sure to do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.